I don't, I don't know what I feel, except that I don't want to break it off with Ford, but I don't want to lose Marco. What is it about Ford that's so important to you? It's just we connect in this way that's... What, are you talking about sex? Partly. I mean, it's just so intense. It's like nothing I've ever felt before. Sometimes it's like we're the same person. But with Marco, it's like... It's like he worships me or something. And I don't know. It makes me kind of uncomfortable sometimes. Self-conscious, you know? It's not just about the sex. It's like he puts me up on this pedestal like I'm the most talented person he knows. And yeah, okay, maybe I am talented, but I have so much to learn. That's what I could talk to Ford about, and he helps me out. You said it yourself, the musical, it's really good. Well, it's all Ford. He would go through my rough drafts and tell me what to focus on, what to cut. It's like, it's like Marco thinks I'm a genius, but Ford, takes me really serious, if that makes sense at all. Ford knows that you're with someone else. How serious can he be? I don't want to lose him. Well, you're going to lose one of them. Because once Marco finds out, I know it'll kill him. Start. Tell me what to do. I can't, I can't handle this anymore. You're going to have to choose. She can't have it both ways. Hey, you okay? You want to tell me what's going on here? I'm sorry, Marco. I didn't mean for you to hear all of that. It's just... It gets me so mad. So that part about Langston... You have to understand. When Ford wants you, he'll just keep after you until he gets you. And then once he has you, forget it. He's not interested anymore. He's on to the next one. He's like this... Serial abuser. Okay, hey, I understand you got hurt, and I'm I'm sorry about that. But you made an accusation. No, because it's true. <laughs> Aren't you listening? He doesn't care about you. He doesn't care about anyone. I'm sorry. What the? She's had a rough time. But to accuse Langston, I, what was that? Okay, I, I think. I mean, from what I can tell, she overheard you and me talking about how you found Langston's button in Ford's office, and, and so that's how she jumped to the conclusion that they slept together? She doesn't even know Langston or me. I, I know, I know, I know, but she knows Ford, so what are you saying? She's angry at him, okay? That Ford, this guy, he, he's a player, and she got hurt, and so she was just throwing whatever she could at him. So it was a lie. I, she, she made an assumption based on his track record. What, what, so you think it's true? No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm just saying from her point of view. Okay, but she, she didn't think it through, okay? She, she, she just said it to get at it. Okay, look, Hannah, she's a really nice girl, and she got hurt. Okay, that's all this is. So you trust her? Yeah. But you don't trust Ford, so if she's saying that he slept with her... Look, she, she doesn't have any facts, okay? Marco, like I said, she made an assumption based on how he operates. But that, that's not taking everything into account. Not, not, not you, not Langston, not how you guys are together. She misunderstood, okay? And, and, and just, to, just to get back at Ford, and that's all it really is, okay? Don't let her get to you. I gotta go. Where, where are you going, man? I just, I gotta get out of here. I'll see you later. Thank you. Oh. Better? Much. Thanks. I wish you'd go look for Roxy. I'm fine. I'm, I'm not going to budge. I promise. I will sit right here till you get back. I'm not going anywhere. Get used to it. Oh. I'm not complaining. It's just fine. Citizens of Lamb, you might have a thing or two to say. That's too bad. You're my priority. You and this kid. Oh, I like the sound of that. But, uh, you're the hero here, and people count on you to keep them safe. Looks like the prisoner's having a heart attack. I gotta get him into the infirmary. Right behind you. Seriously? I gotta get him into treatment. Let's go. 
Okay, you heard the man. This may be our only chance to toss a cell. And if we get caught? The earring fell off during all the commotion, and you were helping me look for it. I don't think so. There's got to be something in there that'll tell me what happened to my mother. Now, come on. Please, okay? Calm down. Calm what happened? Step away from her. Who are you? Sorry, we haven't met. Allison Perkins, escaped mental patient. Okay, okay. Put, put the gun down, Alice. Shut up, Kyle, and lock the door. 